welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines Botanical Garden. In the midst of all this beauty, we are here to search for an invasive species called the cycad scale. In recent times, our Caribbean ecosystem has been invaded by a number of foreign species. Among these, the red palm mite, giant African snail, red lionfish, the Asian citrus psyllid, and cycad scale. Since their detection in the region, these foreign species has had detrimental effects on agriculture and biodiversity in the Caribbean islands. Cycad scale is a pest of cycads and is native to Thailand where it is kept under control by its natural enemies. In 1996, cycad scale was detected in Florida where it established itself and decimated the cycad industry there. From there, it spread to other states in the US and the Caribbean. In Guam, the pest is responsible for killing about 1.5 million of the local fadang or Cycus micronisica. Cycus scale was also detected in Taiwan in 2000 in Taipei County. From there, it spread throughout the island, posing a serious threat to the endemic Cycus titongensis. Closer to home in St. Vincent, Cycad scale was first observed in 2012 at Arnisville on one plant. From there, it spread to the botanic gardens infesting cycads found here. Here we can have a closer look at the plant being infested by the pest. As you can see, the tree turns white as if snowed on and then leaves begin to turn brown. Successive new leaves are smaller and will eventually be overtaken by the pest, which leads to the plant's death after one or two years. Another of the more recent invasions to St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the Asian citrus psyllid that causes Kwang Long Bing disease or citrus greening. This insect transmits a bacteria to the citrus plant, which eventually kills it. We will now take a look at some of the symptoms of the disease and hear how this disease has impacted citrus farmers since its arrival to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I grow mostly citrus from a livelihood. I have at least five acres of citrus. 2011 I noticed something strange with the plants then. So I say, I say well, maybe they stress out with the storm after treating them, fertilize them, spring 2012, same problem. The disease is something like these, the trees will get green. Eventually they start it on yellow and wilt and trees slowly, slowly die. So right now my farm almost complete destroy. And that was my mainly livelihood. I used to reap at least say, 10,000 orange a month. Now I can't every reap a hundred. So I need some kind of help now for see if I could bring back my production. So how does an invasive alien species spread to another country? By the movement of seeds, planted material and exotic fruits by nationals and tourists via yachts, cargo ships, cruise ships or airplane into the country or its territories. They can also hitchhike in commodities such as lumber and sand used in the construction and hospitality industry or they can be brought as stored product pests in foods like rice, wheat flour and other cereals. Once an invasive alien species establishes itself in a foreign country, it has to be managed appropriately. Integrated control involves the use of a combination of chemical, biological, mechanical and cultural control along with the exploitation of seasonality and pest behaviour. We have taken a trip to the south side of the island. The palm and cycads are what beautify our nation and the citrus plants and different agriculture plants it's what help our farmers to have their livelihood. But these invasive species are destroying the plants here. 
We are therefore appealing to our local citizens and foreigners to desist from bringing in exotic fruits and planting material that can be harmful to our biodiversity without the necessary phytosanitary certificate. Be aware and preserve.